Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Made Homestead. I'm Marion and today we are headed to the garden. I have got some sweet potatoes that are left from our sweet potato harvest last year. And our harvest last year really wasn't very good. I haven't had very good luck here lately. So I don't know, we're gonna give it another go. Now I, one thing I can grow really well are sweet potato slips, which is what we're gonna get started today. Before we go, I do want to show you something real quick. You can see our trellis here that we have set up. We're going to grow a lot of things over the trellis this year that I'm really excited about. Not real sure exactly what all I want to plant yet, but uh, I'm really excited about it. And down the middle, you can see our onions. We have a whole bunch of onions there. And I am going to add some other things in there, like some carrots and lettuce and things like that. And I'm going to be doing that very, very soon. Uh, we do have one more row of uh, onions because I just love having lots and lots of onions and we slice them up put them in the freezer and you have them all year long now y'all before we get started I want to show you our potatoes our Irish potatoes and I think there's some Yukon gold it's kind of all mixed in there these are potatoes that we had left from last year too and uh, they had started sprouting and here we go. Now I'm telling you, I haphazardly really just kind of dug a trench and threw them in there and you can see they're doing great. So we got a nice long row. We should get a lot of potatoes out of that. Now y'all, while I'm out here, I think it's a really good time to maybe pull some dirt up on these potatoes. They like having some dirt pulled up on them. This is all you do. You just go down with your hoe and just pull some dirt up. And like, we're still in February. So, like I just covered that potato, that's not a problem. Especially if we had a a cold snap like really cold come through you could just come out here put straw over the potatoes cover them with soil and they'll be in really good shape they'll keep growing right up out of that soil I really planned them really close this year so I'm a little, I'm not concerned about them closeness this way. I'm a little concerned about how close I got the rows. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I did fertilize them yesterday with some rabbit manure tea. All right, y'all, let's go see how these pigs feel about these sweet potatoes. Now, this guy's excited, and he doesn't even know what I have. <laughs> and he's drooling. Look at him. Well, hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. You want a sweet potato? Huh? You want a sweet potato? That's a big one. You want to start out with a little one? Uh-oh. It's behind the wire, isn't it? Here, buddy. Here. Have this little one. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I, think, see, I think he likes it. Apparently that wire's not on because he had his head. <laughs> Look at him. He's got it all up on it. You like that? You like it better when I hand feed you? I don't think I can get the, There we go. Here you go, Kevin. Now, Kevin is our boar. 
He is a registered Idaho pasture pig. <laughs> and he's a sweet boy. He is, he's about 13 months old now. And if you're not familiar with the Idaho pasture pig, they are, they were bred for their size to have a smaller size. So the Cooney Cooney is part of their breeding. And also Duroc and Berkshire, which makes for really, really good pork. I think the sweet potatoes are a hit. Are you okay? <laughs> Let's go check out mom and the babies and see what they think. Bandit honey, we gotta have a haircut. Now this is Izzy. She is our she is our sow now, aren't you, Izzy? Yeah, because you had babies. So you're not a guilt anymore. Here little bumpkins, they don't know what to do with sweet potatoes. Izzy, where are you going? She's still not a big fan of sharing her food with the kids. She's gotten better about the grain, but a sweet potato, that's a whole nother thing. Izzy, you want another one? Look, the babies. I think she might have left some for them. Look at this little guy or little girl. She had eight piglets seven females and one male. Six of them did die. One of them was really, really small when it was first born. Only lived a couple of days. The other one actually lived, I don't know, a couple of weeks. The babies like the ones that Izzy has already bitten into, gotten it started for them. But they'll get the hang of it. Easy girl. There you go. There's another one. Now we had one little girl, the little ginger one right there. Her ear wasn't developed when she was born. So we'll be selling her as a feeder because you really don't want to breed an animal that has some kind of deformity, at least as far as I know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel good about it. There you go. Uh-oh, big girl, you missed it. There you go. But she's a cutie, bless her heart. But lots of times people, they see the coloring and they automatically think Cooney Cooney, which I can see why, because they stay small like a Cooney Cooney and they have the coloring. But they have that blend of the old Berkshire and the Duroc, which just makes that really really good pork there you go all right sweet potato heaven <laughs> hey Annie I don't have any food I should have brought you a potato Annie I'm so sorry I'm so sorry oh, oh shoot I didn't bring her a freaking potato Come here, Annie girl. All right, guys. Now this right here is Annie. Here you go, Annie. She is a wild pig. And she ended up on our property when she was like this long. She was a tiny little thing. I'll try to find a picture and put it up right here for you. Where is Annie? There she is. Where are you? And uh, we heard the dogs just carrying on and having a fit outside. My husband ran out there and there was this little pig and they weren't hurting her. She did have a couple of scratches on them because they were, it was something strange in the yard. They don't let things get in the yard. 
it probably would have ended badly. But uh, anyway, we started taking care of her and we raised her up and here she is. So we have no idea what we're gonna do with her yet. We have not decided that. And, uh, but anyway, we had a neighbor, we do have coyotes around here and we had a neighbor who I had called her that day to let her know about what had happened, about what we found. And uh, she said that the night before she had heard there was like a pack of coyotes and she told her husband, he was like, oh, sounds like they got something. And we're kind of thinking that perhaps the coyotes had gotten her mama and, uh, and that she had managed to escape. So we rescued her and she's a sweetie, you see. <laughs> she might have been born wild, but she's not anymore. And they're so cute. I'm gonna try to get a video, put up a short of her and our Australian Shepherd. They'll run this fence beside each other, one on one side and one on the other, and they're just as cute as they can be. But Annie's a sweet girl, aren't you, baby? Huh? I've wanted to keep her as a pet. My husband's not real keen on it, so I don't know, guys. We'll see. But she's a sweet girl. Yes, she is. And she gets good care. Don't you? She has this big wooded area out here and it's all has a uh, electric fence around it that keeps her in look at there so she's like she doesn't have company out here as far as another pig but sadie like i said sadie does come out here and hang out with her and uh she does have some really nice living quarters This right here, I'm definitely not showing you what to do because I feel like I need help. I don't quite know how to trim back this lemon tree and I feel like it needs to be trimmed back. I mean, should the lower branches be cut off and bring it up more? just really kind of leaning in that direction. Any help that you have, any suggestions, please let me know. But I'm kind of wondering if maybe we've been watering it too much too. So I want to, we're going to back off on the water. And I've got buds have started and I've got fruit still on the tree. So I'm really wanting to pick the fruit, trim it back, and get it going because spring is almost here in Central Florida. I mean, we're our last frost date is just about a week away, so I'm really should I wait until then? Should I wait until after the frost date? Because I've got buds. Maybe trim back the limbs that don't have buds. What you think? All right, guys, that's it for today. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please be sure and leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. We are like many of you. We are learning, change our mind, decide to do it different way, and different soils, different areas. It all makes a difference, you know. And uh, there's a lot to learn. Your comments and your suggestions are always welcome. I really appreciate it. And until next time, be sure and share us with your friends, family, and all across social media. And subscribe. We'd love to have you join us. We've got a lot of fun stuff coming. Spring in Florida, y'all. We get to kick it off and get it going. Until next time, take care and God bless.